You're watching. You're watching. You're watching OTN Paranormal. 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 What's up you guys, it's OTN, we're back again, and I just want to give a quick little shout out to you guys, you guys are awesome, we love you so much, we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys, take a breath Rian. <laughs> we make videos every single week just for your enjoyment, and I hope you guys really love the video this week. Uh, this week we're going to be going to Lake Lanier. So I hope you guys enjoy it, let's get it. What's up you guys, it's OTN, we're back again. We're here at Lake Lanier, voila. And we're gonna get this investigation started. Lake Lanier was created upon the completion of the Buford Dam on the Chattahoochee River in 1956. And the Corps of Engineers made the lake in order to help with navigation, flood control, provide hydroelectricity, well produce, should I say, and to supply the water for the city of Atlanta. Wooden structures that would soon be covered by the lake were removed and there was a whole bunch of graves that were relocated. And there was also a pipe bomb found by the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, which they were forced to detonate. It was found by the rocks by the Buford Dam powerhouse by fishermen. Several block structures and uh, buildings at the bottom of the lake were not able to reach the max depth above the water line of 35 feet, so they are still laying at the bottom of the lake in a decomposing state. But a lot of the family-owned farms still peak above the water line. The 160 islands that lay upon Lake Lanier are actually hilltops of once family-owned farms. And in 2007, when the drought happened, the seats of the old racetrack were actually exposed, but the racetrack still remains at the bottom. So just a little quick rundown of why we're here at Lake Lanier. There's a supposed curse here where if you swim in the water, you boat in the water, anything like that, there's been disappearances, drownings, and weird boating accidents that can't really be explained. So, what we're going to do is, Logan, obviously, you can see, is not to the left of me, which he usually is. He is going to get changed right now, and he's going to see if there's, an act there's actually a curse here, and he is going to jump in the water. I'm going to say this one more time to you guys. We've posted it on Snapchat a million times. Do not do the things that we do. We do them because we are professionals, and if anything happens to Logan, he can... He can take care of himself, we're all right here if he needs us, you know what I mean? But I would not suggest doing this because of how many things have actually happened. Okay, so Logan's going to get changed right now. Um, from what I've seen, I mean, I didn't really see him, like, get pulled under or anything like that. Then again, we weren't really that deep in. That might have been why. But um, he should be back in a minute now or two, so we'll see what he has to say about it. So. 
how was your experience with Lake Lanier? Not scary at all. I didn't feel nothing. No sense of dread or anything. Nothing touched my leg except water. I swam out there. Couldn't feel my feet on the ground. Got tired, swam back in. Pretty much it. Well, there you have it. Okay, well, it's starting to get darker, and we all know what that means if, you know, you've ever watched OTN before. That means we're about to start our investigation, so we're gonna pick a spot, walk around for a little bit, get our bearings, and then we'll get it started. The waves are so intense here. All right, you guys ready? You ready? All right, ready? We're gonna do our first EMF session right now. Right here, Logan, come closer. Here, I'll, I'll meet you halfway. Here, why don't you come on this rock? Good? Are you good? <laughs> All right, we're gonna try a session now, and then we're gonna try a session when it gets dark. Hopefully you guys can hear me over these loud waves because they're really loud. Alright. Is there any spirit or anything that would like to communicate with us? There's anybody that has drought in this lake? Anybody that has had a boating accident or has disappeared around this lake. If you want to communicate with us, now would be the time for the CMF meeting. Uh, is anybody here? You want to tell us how many people died here? You want to sit at the bottom of your leg? I'm not impressed. I thought it would be a lot scarier, honestly. What are you telling? Okay, so, so far, uh, we can't completely say we've debunked the curse of Lake Lanier, but, I mean, it, it doesn't really seem like there's anything here so far. I guess I had to debunk the water thing. I mean, yeah, yeah, but we can't fully say we debunked everything because... No. You know. I think the invisible hands with the feet thing that we read about is like people that like drowning survivors say they felt like invisible hands pulling them into the lake. I didn't feel nothing. Yeah, I don't really know if that's true or not, but either way, we're going to do an, another EMF session later, even though this one kind of failed. Maybe we'll get something later on. Maybe the activity picks up at night. I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, everybody, this looked like an interesting spot to get to. It's kind of hard getting down here. It hurt a little bit. Uh, looked like there was a rope tied on there for some reason. We don't know what for. Could have been like somebody like just tied the rope to like put a little inner tube on to go out on, and we don't know. I how big the tree is. Yeah, you can if you see if you can see into the water, you can see the tree actually goes kind of far out. But as to what happened here, the world may never know. Logan hurt his foot. Props we'll call the camera, him. Man. We'll call him Logan Pegleg. You guys can go out on the edge. Let's do it. really beautiful over here on this lake. It's actually like more beautiful than like I actually expected it to be. There's water everywhere but um besides my socks getting a little wet I think this was very much worth it. Okay, so now we're gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the lady of the lake which her real name is Delilah Parker Young and she is said to wear a blue dress. She is said to also be wandering the bridges of outside of Gainesville, the Dawsonville Highway, where she is seen to be. She's described as the in the blue dress, missing both hands, 
wandering aimlessly up and down the bridge looking for something, but nobody knows what. Delilah and her friend Susie Roberts were heading out of town one night to have a basic girls night, I guess you'd call it, right? Yeah. They were heading to the roadhouse in Dawsonville, but didn't really make it that far. The last known place someone had ever seen them at, they were speeding away from a gas station in Gainesville, a few miles away from the gas station on the Dawsonville Highway. Their skid marks where it seems like their car swerved and crossed over into Lake Lanier. The authorities have searched the lake, but to no avail. They could not find either of the women or the car that they were driving. It was until 18 months later that a man saw a body float up right where he was fishing at. And when she was found, she had two missing hands, so she had no hands, <laughs> and she had two toes missing on her left foot. But there was no way to make a positive identification because the woman had dentures and there was only fingerprints and they couldn't do any fingerprints because she had no hands. The body that they had found was laid to rest in Alta Vista Cemetery in an unmarked grave because they really had no idea which of the two women it was. In November 1990, a construction crew was working on a bridge when they discovered the same four-type car that the women were driving with a female body in it. And once Susie Roberts was identified by the Roberts family, then they decided to finally mark Delilah's grave and the first body that found that was found was in fact Delilah. And be mindful, this was 32 years later. Even though the women were both given a proper burial, Delilah is still seen to be wandering the bridge aimlessly searching for God knows what. So be mindful to watch out for her. And be very careful at the lake. There has been a lot of, what would you say, like, there's been a lot of talk. Mysterious accidents. Yeah, mysterious accidents. And there's been a lot of talk about how the lake is cursed. So if you do come here, please be very mindful of that and be very careful. And without further ado, right now, we are going to go to that bridge and we are going to try to see Delilah. And also be mindful, people. What I did earlier is not encouragement for you to do yourself. I did it purely for y'all. I read y'all's comments, every single one of them individually. I know who says what. Every single time I get a chance to do something crazy, it's just for y'all. Love you. So we are on the bridge where the lady wearing blue, the lady of the lake, is said to be seen. We're going to do an EMF reading up here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, uh, but down there, there's a dock, so that's most likely where the fishermen had to cover the, the body. body. So let's see if we can get anything. Okay, I did not. Can I just be honest? I did not expect this to work. Delilah, is that you? What about Susie? Delilah, was your body ever actually fully recovered? If there's anything you'd like to say or anything you'd like to present to us, now would probably be the time. to be looking for something. It's all quiet out here right now. You can talk to us on this side of the street at least. Yeah, this side of the highway. Yeah, we're on a highway. You guys better like smash that like button. We're literally standing on the side of a highway. 400 likes, I'll throw Reed the, off this bridge. Is that all you have for us, Delilah? You have nothing else to say? Nothing to show us? You don't want to like walk up on us real quick? Nothing like that? Are you fake? Is that it? I'm honestly surprised that we're even getting it. Are you scared? Let me find out that song. Hey, never mind. That'll definitely get one. I'm honestly surprised that we're even getting a hit right now, to be quite honest with you. I really did not expect this. I expected 
us to come here and to have this flop um, or not be able to pull over on the side of the highway. But we're doing a few, Delilah and Susie. So if any of you, either of you, want to say anything or do anything or make the EMF go off even lower or higher, whatever you guys prefer. Can you throw a toe at me? That's it for you guys. You guys don't want to say anything. It's like a solid yellow. It's usually never, like, it usually never sticks at one thing like that. Tell me not. True that. True that. True that. Should we leave you alone? You guys okay? Yeah, it's okay. Sorry. Okay. We're filming a video. Oh, okay. We're on YouTube, OTM Paranormal. surprised we're actually getting a reading. She has to be here at least. Yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're gonna get in the car before um you know somebody else drives off the side of the road. Or I try to jump into moving traffic, one or the other. The weirdest part in my opinion is the fact that when I looked up the Dawsonville bridge or the Dawsonville Highway, I didn't even see the name of the bridge. I just seen that it was over water. But the thing is, right when I looked up Dawsonville Highway, it took me to the exact location that we ended up parking at. Like, hold on. I'm gonna see if it still works. Like, ready? Dawsonville Highway. Literally to the exact location we just were like on the side of the road like we came from the right it told me to take the u-turn and go on that side it's not weird we hope you guys enjoyed this video we love you guys so much make sure to comment like share share subscribe do you guys this thing we're gonna keep doing ours and thank you guys for the comments and don't you have the comments left? oh yeah for the miss ellis start the name chop 21 I'm 21. Love you guys. And we'll see you next time on OTN Paranormal.